guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Lillian and in today's video I'm going to do a hair treatment now I did the big chop in January and my hair has been growing quite a lot to be honest I trim it myself but I do want to get a professional haircut the salons are finally open so I still need to make an appointment but anyways today my hair is very very dry because it was under a wig for four days and then I took the wig off and I washed my hair with an olive oil shampoo, the, you know the OG ones. If you're an old school natural, you know which one I'm talking about. I'll put a picture up right here. And that shampoo just dried out my hair completely. I bought the shampoo to use for my wigs because I don't want to use my sham moisture shampoo for my wigs. But I was like, let me try out the shampoo on my natural hair because I used to use it back in the days, but no, my hair reacted to it so badly. So my hair is super dry, my scalp is super dry, um, so I just want to do a good, good moisturizing treatment. So I'm going to use an oil for my scalp. This one is by Love & Care JSM, uh, the Queenie Growth Oil. And I want to put this body butter from Shaskin to the test by using it on my hair. Yes, I know it's a body butter, but it's made out of natural ingredients completely. It says here, whipped chia butter, coconut oil, avocado oil, sweet almond oil, and jojoba oil. I'm doing a collab with Shaskin right now, so if you want to save some coins, make sure to use my discount code Lillian10 for a 10% off your order. And I'll put the code right here, I'll put the link in the description as well so you can check it out. This body butter, the owner told me that she uses it for her hair sometimes, she has gorgeous, gorgeous curls. So I was like, you know what, let me just try it out. She mentioned it to me and I was like, you know what, I might as well just try it. But she did say only apply it to your hair, not to your scalp, which is understandable because it's a very heavy butter. Um, so that's why I'm going to use the hair oil for my scalp because my scalp is very dry and sensitive right now. So what I did is I heated up the oil a little just in some hot water and I did it to the body butter as well but as you can see the body butter melted so quick so I took it out pretty soon. I wanted it to soften up a little bit but it just melted so quick but yeah it's fine anyways. This is what the body butter looks like. I have two jars by the way that's why um I'm switching but this is what it looks like this is I love their branding honestly like this is their brand they're also coming out with a shower gel at the end of this month so I'm excited to try that too but this is their brand this is their Shaskin skin buddy butter and this is what it looks like it's like a whipped butter and it's very thick it's super moisturizing on the skin I'll show you guys when I come out of the shower I'll probably show you guys how it applies on your skin as well but for now, let's focus on the hair. So, <laughs> this is what my hair is looking like right now. It is super dry and so sensitive, like I don't even want to touch my scalp right now. But yeah, this is what, it, what it's looking like. It is clean because I washed it two days ago with that shampoo, but it's just so sensitive. It's insane. I applied a little bit of product and the product is just sitting on top of my hair. Um, so yeah, we need to do something about this. And as you can see, look how, first of all, how long it is, but also how uneven I cut my hair. Anyways, let's get to it. I'm going to start off by wetting my hair a little bit because I do like applying stuff, not necessarily to dripping wet hair, but... I feel like there should be some moisture in my hair before I apply oils or any type of treatments. So I'm going to start off with applying the oil to my scalp. And I like to focus on this part, my edges, and the top part of my scalp because that's where I'm like most sensitive where my scalp really hurts even sometimes when you touch it. And then you just want to massage it into the scalp. I just realized that these two brands actually did a collab together where they mixed this oil with the Sha Skin Butter. Well, I don't know if it's specifically this body butter, but they basically made like a combination of their butter and the hair growth oil. 
to make a butter for the hair. By the way, you want to massage using your fingertips, not your nails, because that can damage your scalp. I might as well just finish this oil. If you've watched my big chop video, then you can see how much hair growth there is. It's actually insane. This is what hair loss looks like after you did a big chop. It's just these tiny short hairs. It's so weird. I really had to get used to that at, at first. Okay, now I'm going to apply the buddy butter. Oh my god, this is so thick. As you can see, I'm doing my best. I'm being gentle so that I'm only applying it to my hair and not my scalp. You know what? I'm surprised because this actually feels really moisturizing and not really greasy because that's. I felt like it would feel like spreading wax all over your hair, but it actually feels really moisturizing. One thing about me, I like applying a lot of product. <laughs> so this is what it's looking like. It feels really soft. Okay, so I ran out of the plastic shower cap, so I'm just gonna use old school plastic bag for my hair. Okay, so what this is going to do, covering it with a plastic cap, is it's going to trap all the heat, so then the treatment, whatever you put in your hair, the treatment or the product will penetrate quicker and more deeper into your hair. So that's why I'm putting a plastic cap on and then I'm just going to sit under the hooded dryer like this for maybe 30 minutes to one hour. I think I'm going to do 30 minutes under the hooded dryer and then another 30 minutes just with this um, and then I'm going to rinse it out. So I'm back and I sat under the hooded dryer for a good 30 to 45 minutes and I just think it's funny how you can see the curls. <laughs> through the plastic cap. The body butter and everything, the whole, all the products are literally dripping down the side of my face. So I just wanna wash this out before my skin starts breaking out because as you guys know, my skin is very sensitive. Ooh, these curls are looking juicy. Oh my God. Oh my god, these curls are looking juicy. If this turns out good, I'm gonna be using that body butter for my hair instead of my body. <laughs> but guys, it actually looks so moisturized and juicy already as you can see. My curls look so defined. And it's such a big difference as compared to how it first was at the start of this video. I don't even want to rinse it out, but you know, we have to. I imagine what it would be like if I left this in overnight. I'll probably try that out another day, but for now, this is the result. After leaving it in for one hour under the hooded dryer, I am going to rinse it out. I'm going to use the Sham Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo to rinse it out because I do feel like I should rinse it out with a shampoo. It's quite a heavy treatment. Um, and then I will go in with a deep conditioner after, depending on how my hair feels. If it already feels very moisturized, then I might just apply my deep conditioner for like five to 10 minutes while I wash the rest of my body and rinse it out. But yeah, I'll see you after and I'll let you guys know anyways. Uh, but for now, this is what it's looking like. This is what it's looking like for now. Guys, I'm stuck between growing out my hair or cutting it short again because I feel like I should enjoy this short hairstyle at least until summer and then in September start growing it out. But on the other hand, I miss having braids. Like, I want to get my hair braided again. 
But yeah, I think that's best to do in the winter time anyways, braids and all that stuff. Right now, I just want to focus on growing this back. As you can see, my edge is here. I have a lot of breakage there, so this is what I want fuller. Let me rinse this treatment out of my hair and then I will show you guys the end result. Okay, so I just got out of the shower. I applied my styling products and a little bit of oil to my scalp. I washed my hair. I was, You know what? I was scared that it would be all gone after washing it out with shampoo, so I tried to wash it with co-wash but it didn't work it was still way too greasy or not too greasy but you know it was just the product was still in my hair the treatment so i went ahead and washed it with my jamaican black castor oil shampoo from shea moisture and then i did a deep conditioner for like five to ten minutes while i was shaving my legs and all of that stuff and i used the shea moisture manuka honey deep treatment uh, which is very moisturizing so I am very happy with this treatment on my hair to be honest. Don't mind the shape because my hair is so uneven right now and when it was short I could get away with it because of the shrinkage and everything but now it's just getting to a point where I need to get a haircut so yeah. Anyways, I did my edges as well with some oil. I stopped using like gel and stuff on my edges unless I'm doing like a really I don't know, sleek style or I need my edges to stay on for the whole day but for moments like this or when I'm going to work or when I'm just chilling at home I just use oil for my edges. Thankfully I have really easy and soft baby hair so technically I could even use just water to get the swoop uh, but yeah I noticed that when I use oil they stay on a little longer. This is the end result. I'm really happy as you can see my curls are super moisturized they're really defined it feels so much healthier as well right now the Jamaican black castor oil shampoo from Shea Moisture has peppermint oil in it which I really love it really helps to I don't know it feels like my scalp just feels like a relief from the itching and the sensitive feeling uh, but yeah for now I'm really happy with the results I think next time I want to leave in this treatment overnight and wash it out the next day and see what that will do but for now if we compare it to the state that my hair was in before this video it was bad it was dry it was itchy it was just not nice like it was painful to even touch but now my scalp feels normal, healthy, moisturized. So if I would have to answer the question, can you use the Shaskin Skin Buddy Butter for your hair? I know it's not meant, like it's not made for your hair, but you can definitely use it for your hair. I would say apply an oil for your scalp and then use the body butter for your hair, like the length of your hair. But yeah, like just the same way that I did in this video. But yeah, I'm definitely happy with how this turned out. Let me show you guys how it applies on your skin. So I just got out of the shower. I haven't applied anything to my skin yet. As you can tell, it's very ashy. So I'm going to apply the Sha Skin Buddy Butter. It has a very like subtle smell, like almost no smell. I hate the really, really, really strong Shea Butter smell. I don't like that at all because it's way too sweet. But this one has like a slight smell to it, which is really nice. And this is what it looks like. And as you can see, it's quite thick. However, in the summertime, when it gets too hot, you have to store this in the fridge or in like a dark, cool place because it will melt quickly. Let me show you guys on my shoulder what it looks like. It gives you that nice glow, not too greasy. It is actually not greasy at all. Like I can just put on clothes on top of this straight away without it feeling weird. Look, it's glowy, healthy skin, not greasy, nice and moisturized, and then dry and ashy skin. <laughs> There we go, nice and moisturized. I really love this body butter. So that was the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you want to support a black owned business and a woman owned business, make sure to check out Shaskin. If you trust me, 
then go check out their website and their products. They have different sizes of their body butter, so you can buy the small size first to try it out, and if you like it, you can buy a bigger size later on. Honestly, this product for my hair, for my skin, I'm definitely gonna continue using it. And I've already finished two jars just for my skin, but then I found out that I can use it on my hair too, and now I'm like, I might need to stock up again because this this body butter is amazing. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more natural hair videos, let me know in the comments. And also leave a comment down below, what's your favorite natural hair treatment? Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell because I upload every Sunday. And last but not least, follow me on my socials at Lillian's at Guy on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Clubhouse, all of that stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!